In another major story tonight, 274 are known dead in a coal mine catastrophe in Turkey. Families rushed to the scene as rescue workers brought out the dead and searched for as many as 150 miners still missing after yesterday's explosion and fire. Holly Williams reports from the mine near the town of Soma. At the entrance to the mine this morning, there were cheers of jubilation as these men appeared after being trapped underground for nearly a day. But by the afternoon, a grim procession of stretches carried one dead body after another. Every time a survivor or a body emerges from the mine shaft, the crowd here pushes forward to see if it's their family member or their friend. Many of the people here have been waiting for more than a day for news. Nurula Chiftchi told us his 26-year-old brother, Osgur, was one of the trapped miners. Do you think that your brother will be found alive? No, he told us. I'm not expecting that. I'm sure we've lost him. A line of ambulances stood by to rush survivors to the hospital, but instead they carried the dead to a makeshift morgue. The Turkish Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan visited the mine and promised an investigation into what caused this disaster. But as the hours wore on, grief boiled over into anger. This man, who said his nephew was trapped inside, demanded answers now about what went wrong. Many in Turkey blame the government for what happened here and say safety standards in the country's mines aren't strict enough. Murat Gokmenolu works in a neighbouring coal mine and told us he'd just spent 14 hours helping to carry bodies to the surface. You're a miner. When you see this kind of accident, do you feel frightened? Every time we go to work, we're gambling with our lives, he told us. And every morning we say goodbye to our families, as if it's for the last time. And Holly Williams is joining us now. Holly, is there anything known about how the fire and explosion started to begin with? Well, Scott, early reports said it was some kind of uh, electrical fault. Now, though, the mine operator says it doesn't know what happened. Uh, but thousands of people who have been protesting in Istanbul tonight, that's Turkey's largest city, say the real problem is that the Turkish government is simply too close to the country's mining companies and has allowed extremely lax safety standards. More on this tomorrow. Holly Williams, thank you.